10 sets of silver and gold pens, six different services, and one mega rating chart. Which pens will come out on top? We're about to find out. Hey, hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. So adding silver and gold metallic sparkle to my pieces is one of my favorite ways to add joy to my creative play. So I decided to do a deep dive and find the best silver and gold pens for this purpose. In this video, I will be testing out the My Paints Fine and Medium Tip paint markers, the Posca paint pens, the Rustolian Imagine Chrome silver and gold pens, the Rustolian Testers Craft pens, the Sakura Jelly Roll pens, the Sakura Pen Touch pens, the Sharpie paint pens, the Sharpie metallic pens, and the Uniball Signo silver and gold. I'll be seeing how the gold and silver pens in each of these pairs work on six different mixed media surfaces, plain watercolor paper, black mixed media paper, watercolor paint, alcohol marker, colored pencil, and acrylic paint pen. To keep track of performance, I created this little ratings chart where I'll rate each pen on opacity, shine, color tone, and flow during use. On this chart, a star means excellent, a check means good, and an X means poor. At the end, I will share my thoughts on the best overall silver and gold pens, the best fine tip silver and gold pens, the best low odor pens, and of course, I'll reveal the ever important factor, price. Now, some of this is obviously subjective to my own preferences and uses, but I hope that this info will help you find the best metallic pens to fit your particular needs. All right, so first up, we've got the My Paints Fine Tip. Now this is an acrylic marker. The fine tip here is a plastic applicator as opposed to a felt tip. And for each of these tests, I'm doing some different examples of embellishments I might add to one of my pieces. So some lines, some squiggles, some dots, and then filling in a larger block object. Now, as might be expected with fine tip pens, the Filling in of the larger object was a little bit more inconsistent than you might get with a thicker pen, but overall, this one does pretty well. I think when it comes to the services, it passed all the tests. The colored pencil one is a little bit difficult to see, and that could just be a factor of the extra texture that comes with that colored pencil. I expect we'll see that with a lot of these. One thing with these fine tip My Paints markers that I have noticed is I've used them in some of my other pieces, they are a bit scratchy. So if you're not careful with your strokes, there can be some spatter. They can feel a little bit catchy as they're going is the best way I can describe it. But when it comes to how they lay down, if you kind of get a feel for them and know how to use them, they can do a really great job. So when it comes to the scoring, I give this one a gold star for the opacity. I think it's really good. It's not sinking into those surfaces. When it comes to shine, I think it passes the test. Tone is also good. Not too yellow, not too brown. And then flow, it was pretty good. Again, bits of scratchiness, but I think overall it really did kind of pass the test here. Now the silver and in my experience, silver markers, I don't know what it is about what goes into making silver markers versus gold, but the silver tends to flow better and it tends to just kind of be more opaque than gold tones usually are. So I'm really happy with this silver marker. Again, a bit of scratchiness, but overall, when you need a fine tip, this one is a really great option. And this one really did do pretty well for all of those services. When it comes to the scoring for the silver one, I give it a star, star, star for opacity, shine, and tone. And it also passes that flow test. Again, a bit of scratchiness, but overall a really strong option here. All right, so next up we've got those My Paints Medium Tips. Again, acrylic marker, very similar to Posca's. The tips here are the felt tip rather than the plastic applicator that the fine tip had. And here you can see that the marks are thicker, as you'd expect from that thicker tip, maybe slightly less precise. When it comes to the surfaces, it did fade a bit into that black paper, but for the rest of them, I think it performed really well, including on that colored pencil, which a lot of these pens do tend to struggle with. 
When it comes to the silver here, I am a pretty big fan of this one. It is so shiny, the flow is really great, and it really does seem to show up well across all of these different surfaces. Definitely a strong contender here. So when it comes to scoring gold first, I've got check marks across the board. So it's pretty opaque, but the black paper takes it down a notch to that check mark. The shine is decent. The tone is pretty solid. It's just a little yellower than I like. And the flow was decent. I did have to pump it a couple times to get things going again. For the silver, as you might expect, we have star, 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 star. Really opaque, really nice shine. The tone is deep and the flow was really easy to work with. All right, next up we've got the Posca medium tips. And when it comes to the gold here, I don't know if I got a lemon here, but this was one of the more disappointing ones that I tested out for this video. It kind of failed on all of the surfaces, difficult to see, not very shiny, but thankfully the silver was better. One thing I like about this tip versus the My Paints Medium tip is that it is slightly finer, meaning I have more control over the markings while still being thicker than a fine liner. So when it comes to scoring, the gold didn't do so hot. We've got an X for that opacity since it really doesn't show up very well at all. A check for shine, it's okay. For tone, I just really didn't like the color. It's very yellow, especially on that white paper. And for flow, it was, again, it was fine. The silver Posca did much better. A star for opacity, a star for shine, a star for tone, and a check mark for flow just because it was almost too flowy where I was struggling to avoid puddles. All right, moving into the Rustoleum Imagine Chrome. Now here, these are oil based, so we do have a slight odor here, but it was not overpowering. It was not really bothering me. This gold pen did really well on all of the surfaces. I think it's definitely the best so far on the black, especially it retained its shine a lot better. Its tone is also better. It's less of a yellow gold, which I like. The silver of this pair also did really well, I think. Looks really good across all of the surfaces and was just really easy to work with. When it comes to the scoring for the gold, we've got a star for opacity, a star for shine, a check for tone, and a star for flow. So overall, really strong for this gold, the best so far, definitely. For the silver, we've got star, star, and star for opacity, shine, and tone, and then a check for flow. It wasn't quite as easy to work with as the gold was, but still really strong. Next up, another Rust-Oleum product. These are the Tester's Craft Leafing Pens in silver and gold, also oil-based. And you can see that they have this chisel tip, which does add some options when it comes to maybe drawing it thicker or thinner. It does just take a little bit of extra practice to figure out how to make the marks versus if you had one of those regular paint marker tips. Overall, this gold leafing pen is working really well on all of these surfaces. One thing that wasn't my personal favorite is that it is more of a coppery gold than maybe I prefer, but the shine is really strong and the flow was good. It was just a little bit tricky working with the chisel tip, just takes a little practice. The silver also worked really well. I needed to work a little bit to get some of that silver down into that chisel tip, but overall I was really happy with how this silver looks on all of these surfaces. Looking at the scoring for the gold, we've got a star for opacity, a star for shine, a check for the tone just because of that copperiness, and a star for flow. So a really strong gold pen here. For the silver pen, we've got a star, star, and star, again, for opacity, shine, and tone, and a check mark for that flow. With the next one, we're going back to the fine tip category with the Sakura Jelly Roll silver and gold pens. This gold pen does a really good job really across all of these surfaces. The shine isn't as strong as some, but the shine actually does come out pretty well on the black paper. So that's kind of a plus for this pen. If you do a lot of work on black, this may be the one for you. I also really like the color of this gold. It falls into my kind of sweet spot, so I like that. And overall, it seems to be doing well across all of these surfaces. For the silver, just like the gold, the flow is really nice. The tone is a bit more gray than I usually prefer for a silver, but it still is showing up well across all of these surfaces. 
And again, the shine isn't the best on the standard mixed media surfaces, but it's actually showing up really nicely on the black. So these again are really nice if you're working with a lot of black. So based on that, the scoring for the gold pen, we've got gold star for opacity, check for shine, star for tone. I love this gold star for flow for the silver a check for opacity since some of the marker and colored pencils seems to be coming through a bit a star for tone and a star for flow moving on we've got another sakura product this is the pen touch this is also oil based like the rust-oleum products and you can see look at that tip that shine these are really nice metallic pens this gold is so easy to work with. It lays down nice and thick, but not so thick that it's puddling or hard to control. It's showing up so nice on all of these surfaces and the shine is really impressive. For the silver, it's much the same story. So it's really nice to work with here. This tip isn't too fine, it isn't too thick. And we have this nice silver sparkle across all of these surfaces. For scoring, this one was pretty easy. I didn't spot any weaknesses based on my personal preferences. So we've got star, 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 star for both the gold and the silver pens. We will see if any of the remaining contenders can beat these out. All right, next we're trying out the Sharpie paint pens and these are again oil based. And you can see the tip here, not quite as shiny as that pen touch. And you'll see this reflected in the shininess of the pens themselves. They're not quite as glittery, but you can see that they do do a pretty good job over all of these surfaces. Not quite as opaque, but the gold is pretty good and the flow was definitely easy to work with. For the silver, these did a pretty good job. The flow wasn't quite as consistent for some of those squiggles, but overall, these are definitely a strong option. Now, speaking of strong, if you are not a fan of strong smells, stay away from this one. Of all of the oil-based markers that I tried for this video, this one was by far the strongest. There was a moment I thought I might have to stop because it was just so overpowering in its odor. So just something to be aware of. When it comes to scoring for the gold, we've got a check for opacity and a check for shine, star for tone. I do like the tone of this one and star for flow. For the silver, we've got a check for opacity, a star for shine. The silver was shinier than the gold and star for tone, and then a check for the flow. Next up, the metallic Sharpies. So when it comes to availability and ease of use, these are a really great option. Think your regular Sharpie, just sparkly. One thing I like about these is it is a little bit more of a fine tip, but covers more similarly to some of those more medium tip paint markers. So this makes it a pretty convenient, versatile option. The gold isn't quite as shiny as some, but it does cover all of these surfaces really well, and it's definitely easy to work with. Looking at the silver here, again, pretty solid performance, very easy to use, just not quite as shiny or opaque as some of those other silver options. For scoring this one, the gold got a star for opacity, a check mark for shine, star for tone, and star for flow. The silver one got a check for both opacity and shine, but stars for both tone and flow. So definitely solid options here. Last, but definitely not least, we've got the Uniball Signo Fine Liner Gel Pens. This gold pen was a little bit underwhelming to me. The flow wasn't ideal. I had to go back and retrace some of my marks in places. And the gold also wasn't my favorite tone. It's definitely more yellow than I at least tend to prefer. But generally, this one worked pretty well across the surfaces. The silver performed a bit better than the gold. It flowed better and I also liked the silver tone better than I liked the gold tone. So I'd say this one held its own compared to the other silver fine liners. For scoring, the gold had a little bit of difficulty, although not as much as the Posca. I gave it checks across the board for opacity, shine, tone, and flow. The silver fared quite a bit better, so a check for opacity, but then star for shine, tone, and flow. So let's talk winners. If you're just buying one pair of silver and gold markers and don't need a really fine tip, the overall runaway winner was the Secura Pentouch paint markers. The two Rust-Oleum sets were tied for runner-up, each with only one check mark per color. 
but all three of these top options are oil-based, which means some odor. So if you want a low, no odor, I'd say the next best option based on these tests is the Sharpie Metallic, which are actually one of my personal favorites to use. Just don't accidentally get the Sharpie paint pens, which had the worst odor of any of the ones I tested. Now, if you need a really fine tip, the My Paints Fine Paint Pen won the day for silver, while the Sakura Jelly Roll beat out the competition in the gold color. If you only want to buy one pair of both silver and gold fine tips, though, I'd probably go with those Sakura Jelly Rolls. Now, I know, what about price? So here's the breakdown if that's a factor for you. So pick the one that fits your preferences, needs, and budget, and let's get creative. I'll see you next time.